So today we're going to be looking at a whole bunch of different miniature games that produce some pretty high quality models in case you want to get into the hobby of painting and building them and maybe playing the game because a few of them do have games associated. We're just going to jump right in and take a look at these. Hi everyone, I'm Arier and for absolutely no reason whatsoever, I am going to be looking at a bunch of different model games that are not Games Workshop for no reason. First up is a newcomer, Infinity, by, and I'm going to mispronounce this, Corvus Belly. As you can see, this one has some pretty interesting models. And I'll be honest, I actually really like these. Here, if I can pull up. Ah, here we go. This is what they look like. I love the big giant suit. I love the general look, the people, the various designs. It does remind me a lot of Destiny characters in the front, which I kind of like. And honestly, it makes me wonder why there isn't a Destiny model game that I'm aware of. If there is one, someone let me know. That said, I really like what they do here. They have some really cool looking models. Now... Overall, ooh, this is new. This looks pretty cool. I love the armor. I love the cloth look. I've got a bit of a thing for that. And overall, it's great. And and then there's this part. It's pretty expensive. But overall, if these are pretty high quality models, I think this is great. Now, these are, of course, already painted. You will have to paint them yourself, unless I'm very mistaken. To the best of my knowledge, that's not the case. They have quite a few different ones here. And I've actually seen a few people start streaming these games. So... Apparently, it's got pretty good falling. I have barely just started looking into these, but overall, I'm really impressed with what Infinity is doing. There's a very heavy cyberpunk anime-esque thing. I was going to say theme, but no, actually, thing is much more accurate because I have no idea what the hell this thing is. Thing is definitely accurate. So overall, I really like it. It's engaging. It has whatever the hell this thing in the back is. See if I can get better. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Like, this is, it's a Dreadnought from 40k, and the Alien Buster from, actually, I just, I, I just mixed Hulk Buster from Marvel and the Alien Suit from Alien, of course. <laughs> and I completely stand by it, because that is completely what my mind goes to on this. And a little bit of Mech Warrior, which I have been looking into. I need to look a lot more into it. Just a lot of various designs, really different, and it looks so cool. I want these. I'm just looking at this price and going, okay. <laughs> These are all starter set prices. So basically, it's the same pricing as Games Workshop here. Yeah, that's justifiable. These are some pretty high-quality sculpts. And they're all generally troops, but from what I've heard, Infinity is more of a skirmish-based game, so you don't really get big, massive mechs and giant tanks and everything. Although... I could be mistaken, because I'm just going back to this piece. I kind of want to just get this model. I don't even care if I never play the game. I, I just kind of want this. This is cool. It just, it just looks neat. I want to get a cowboy hat for it. I don't know what it is with me and cowboy hats on mechs. It's a thing. It shouldn't be a thing, but it's a thing. And next up, I'm actually going to cheat on this one. I'm not making one recommendation. I'm making two, but they're both from Privateer Press. It's Hordes and War Machine, which apparently Hordes is supposed to be more of a fantasy-based model game with... Some pretty high detail models. And War Machine is supposed to be more of a sci-fi based fantasy game with War Machine style models. And I do mean War Machine. I've seen some of their sculpts and they're literal machines. So far, it looks like these are all War Machines, but they look much more fantasy-esque. There is a little assembly, I've been told, but overall, they're really damn cool. I mean, look at... Ooh, I love this feature. Sorry, I'm just... I didn't... I pulled this up earlier on my phone and this part didn't load. And just look at this like, oh, hell yeah. This is definitely the STL file. Like just the image there because it's way too clean to be resin so far. But look at that detail. This is so cool. I don't care if I never play this game. This is one of those models where I'm looking at like, yeah, no, that's awesome. And you could buy it individually for $16.99. And that's American, which I actually kind of appreciate because it doesn't involve shipping overseas. Other people might not have that issue. But let's just take a look at these because... Again, I've only briefly looked through these and just liked what I saw. The Bane Witch Agatha. Oh, I thought that was like monstrous and it is. Oh, oh God. Those are. Oh, oh, that is cool. It's like the witch head arms. They got the crab like talons out of the back. And then you get down here and it's just the billowing smoke and all the faces. Oh, this is disgusting disturbing and even the hands being oversized and a little stretched out from the rest of the body it might just be the positioning of the image but that is it's grotesque in ways that even this is oh i love this oh, 
Sorry, some of these models are really damn good. Yeah. I'm just going through these, and also, I don't know what this is. I don't know how you use this character. I don't know what she would do. But she's got a freaking massive gun glaive. I like this. I... God damn, I need to buy this. I don't, I don't even play this game. I want to get this model, though. I mean, look at this thing. It's a freaking glaive with a double-sided... I'm going with blade on this, but all I know, it could just be ang shots. And you can just see the fact that it has a handle. It has the trigger. I, I just, I love this. It's so over the top. It's over the top in ways that even Warhammer doesn't really hit. And she even has a dual disc, so she wants to get into a quick card game. She has a pretty good source right there. Next up, we're going to drop into something a little more uh, traditional. As far as I know, Wargame Exclusive doesn't have a model game assigned to it, but it does create models that you can then slot into other various things. Like if you wanted to play Infinity with certain models or just generally pose really cool looking models. I'm sure it'd just be really fitting anywhere. Uh, let's look at these sisters who I'm sure have nothing in them. And is that, is that what I think it is? Yep. The altar is a guy carrying it with a demon head being held in his hand and a flaming sword. I will be honest, Wargame exclusive models are, they look like they're made of resin, and I personally can't stand resin. That said, hot damn, there is so much cool detail here. Can we get a closer image? Oh, no, it, it just, it, it rotates. Oh, ooh, you see, he's actually plugged into this. Oh, that is grotesque. And there's more skulls. He has more skulls. Like, this is a model that if I played any other war game, I would just say, hey, this counts as insert name here, and I would run with it. Ooh, there's alternate head choices, and this one's more robotic. Ooh. Sorry, just like, it, it's grotesque in ways I love. And then there's some really cool things. And this guy, who... I have no idea what he's supposed to be. But I love the cloak. I love the cape, the armored chest piece that has abs, and even the bullet damage, which you don't really see much in a lot of models. This just looks cool. I know there's a Star Wars miniature game. I don't know much about it, but damn, I would play this guy in it. Like I said, this is mostly just for it counts as style miniatures. And there's some really nice ones. For example, here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Solid. I, I just like this. I will admit the twin braids is a little weird, but then when you see that they all go all the way down and they have the skulls at the top, it's like it's gloriously over-designed. But it's gloriously over-designed in one really great way. It is a action pose jumping, but it has this rebar right here. And, okay, I think this one's actually a picture of a model that's been printed already. Because it looks like it was already printed. Because you can see the line work here. It looks like it actually was already printed. Oh, it could be mistaken. Oh, is the foot broken? Oh, no, the foot is actually... Oh. Oh, that's a... Okay, never mind. That was a... Oh, that was a pistol! Oh, that is a huge ass gun. I love that. But like just cool little details like that. If you're looking for anything interesting, there's a lot to do right here. And there's some quite choice bits of model. Here, let's pull this one up. Like this. The Emperor's sister with Flamer, who I'm certain is not a reference to anything. Because it's just a really cool model that I know Games Workshop has may or may not have already sued this company and failed. So, yeah. This is just a lot of really cool models that you can get a bunch of them. Now, at the price of nine eighty or eight ninety nine per model, or some of the other ones, like the one I pulled up here, the Assassin, where was that? Ah, here we go. That was twenty dollars. So overall, that's actually not a bad price, depending on what shipping is. Next, let's check out what shipping is. Shipping is not listed. Now let's see the reviews. Personally, my favorite Assassin. Great model. Yeah, the twin breaded pigtails. <laughs> Does that say breaded? Yeah. The twin breaded pigtails were a thing to get used to, but I started to love them as much as the mini itself. I love me some breaded pigtails. And next up, we have a pretty classic game, Malifaux. This one, from what I've heard, is actually card-based, but with models. And here, let's see, pull up the chain magic. You got the starter set right here. You know exactly what you get. Oh, hey. It, oh, I didn't know the arm. Yeah, earlier when I did this, I didn't hover over the images. I, I made a mistake not doing that. That is awesome. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is so clean. Sanctioned spellcasters. It's like they're all floating, 
but the way they achieve it is through the cape. I love that. And especially if it doesn't need to balance on anything, that's just so cool. And the detail here, that just it's only five models for $45, which is a bit steep. But when you look at the detail here and how they're actually pulling off four really good uses of flight in a model, like this guy, he looks like he's about to just start flying away. It's like that entire, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it. He has the Iron Man flight pose from the first movie. And that's so cool to see it replicate. And the giant over ass, I guess it's a petticoat rather than a cape. The giant ass end of the petticoat holding him up is really cool because it adds the effect of flight because it's curling around, even though it is making so much contact. Same with these. They're just, I, I like the bases. I like the design. I haven't actually bought any Malifaux yet, unlike some of the Reaper products, but I just like how this looks. And yes, I have realized halfway into this video that this is a terrible idea for my budget. Yeah, I, I'm i going to buy a bunch of these. Uh, rip my wallet. I'm actually just doing this because I have fun with this. Like, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, hello there. See, I hadn't pulled this one up earlier. I didn't know they had straight up robots. Uh, it's got a riot breaker. I love that. It's just like, is that a freaking auto cannon? It's like an automatic cannon. It, it actually has the rounds to fire automatically. And the giant ass slab of metal that looks like it ripped off a submarine's hull. It, it, it just, it's so steampunk, but at the same time, also so futuristic. Oh, and there's a cutout. Oh, interesting. The poses interact. So it's all the same model, but different posings of them. Oh, and then there's these two with shields and look like, gar oh, they're guardians. That is, I just, if the actual model itself looks half as good as these representations, ah, oh God. Now I will admit $10 a model for $50. I mean, I pulled up starter packs, so it's a little more expensive, but that's so cool. Again, would I play these games? I don't know, but I want to get these. Like, look at some of these here. What's this one? I don't even read it. I'm going to just look at it. The Lucius Core Bucks. Okay. That is a creepy mask. There. Oh, that, that is. Oh, here's some painted versions. Oh, okay. Are these painted? No, no, no. These are still images. No, these are actually painted, finished models. Oh, so this is what they look like. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Someone did a really good job painting them. Like, I'm not this good. That that looks really good. Oh, this guy. The Guild Warriors. I, oh, that's... I love how they hyper-extended the legs. This guy, they actually hyper-extended the stomach so it's actually bigger than normal. So he has smaller legs. And they gave him a pig snout mask on top of the massive face. I just... There's like the Lucius Muth son. Mm, yes, and it's really regal. The scribe, Agent 46. And then you get down here, and she's not named. Oh, Guild Lawyers 3. Oh, it's three Guild Lawyers. And like this one with the nose, this guy with the legs, this guy with the pot belly. They're three just... I, I, it's ridiculous in ways I love. Basically, I think if you want to get into Malifaux, just for the models alone to paint them up, I don't know how much construction is required with them, but I do know I'm very tempted to get in here just because some of these especially... And definitely the flying bases we saw. Oh, God, that was so freaking cool. What do we have here? Ooh, mech suit. I love this. Ooh, Charles Huffman. Is that, that is a, oh, that is a very big gun. Oh, I like that. And then there's three hunters. It's just mech lions or mech tigers. Dude, Horizon Zero Dawn much? <laughs> I love this. I'm sorry. I'm just having such a blast looking at these because it's just, I knew for a while there were a lot of different model companies out there and they had some really great designs, but overall, I think out of all of them, each one has some things I really like the war game because, um, great counts as value this because dear God, like just random page, just crazy stuff, just, just crazy ass stuff. And then just everything in infinity has such great detail on it. It looks really tight. But so far, this, I'm blown away by this. This is, it's so hard to get really good flying poses. And these look like they're actually in the air, which is really damn hard to do. Not like they're being held aloft. Not like they're doing some kind of crazy technology to do it. No, this is just great because it just looks like they're actually levitating under their own power in ways they don't entirely control. But they're doing it. It's just, I, I just, mm. 
These two look like controlled, but getting used to it. Like, still using the hammers to try to balance themselves, which is weird because flight. But this guy, he's explicitly using his hands to just do... Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. I'm gushing, but I absolutely love this. This is this is brilliant. And next up, we have Raging Heroes. This is another Counts As style models. And um, as you can tell, they have some very interesting ones. I'm going to be completely honest. Their pricing is kind of insane. They're, they're expensive. But some of the details they put in there, like, check this out. Just random angels. I'm going to pull them up as soon as it loads. They have some really great shit. Yeah. Can you imagine this? Just this thing right here. Uh, can I pull it up? No, I cannot. Still, this, all the detail work. Look at, ooh, that's good. All these feathers. I mean, if I was going to play any game with anything flying as a hero or a main character, I would go all in and use this model because it looks brilliant. I mean, uh, it, just as terrain, if I left it unpainted, it's cool. I would definitely paint it though, just because I would love to get the chance to paint this. I have no idea how I would do feathers, but there's enough individual detail on each feather that I think I can actually make a shot of it. And it, mm, sorry, I just, I'm, I'm getting so into this, right? Ooh. And this is what they look like. Uh, huh. Oh, oh, there's the old version, what they did. And because they updated sculpts. Yeah. And, oh, see, that is, it's, it looks really nice. I'll be honest. That's okay. That's about $20 American, maybe 25. There's a good bit of an increase, but I, I just, that's the old version. And then there's a new one. It looks a lot sharper. There's a lot more detail and they have a good flying base. It's not as tight as I would like. Honestly, I would much prefer a bigger base just because I hate with a passion, the old style flying bases games workshop does little twigs. But even this, this is still a much more tight look. Oh, what did I do there? Okay, there we go. I, it, it's good. I just love some of these models. And they do sell them in some significantly huge kits. If you want to go full ham on getting an entire army replaced as just like, hey, this counts as this, you could do that here. Like, there's some god-awful, like, oh god, look at this thing. This is, I would honestly never even recommend getting this one, but it looks brilliant. You get an entire army of counts as everything, and then, oh, I love this. I would, I would do this. I would completely do this. I would not have a budget afterwards, but God, look at the, okay, went away. I just, it's brilliant. It's so distinct and it would really make an impression. I also love how the flying base is just the little uh, tassels they have behind each of the flying ones. I also love painting cloth in general, so it'd be really fun. All of the skin would honestly be harder because I can't paint skin to save my life. It always ends up looking really dead really dead very dead the only time it looks semi-normal is when i just flat up used bronze and i screwed it up somehow and it looked like it was actually skin i don't know how i did that if i knew i would do it again but i just looking at these things i just i i want to do this because they have so much detail and i'll be honest the biggest reason against buying all of them is because they're so detail heavy they have some less uh things there is a definite distinct vibe here of less safe for work and honestly if you're fine with that go for it but some of these models i think are just absolutely detailed they are even to be fair detail overload but i love them and i want to get some of them because they have so much and just for the sheer fun of painting it would be great i i would love it building Honestly, I'm getting to the point where I actually like building models now. So, yeah, I'd probably enjoy that part, too. But just get... I, I, I want to do this. Oh, God. This is... I know I already said this model. This entire video is going to make me spend so much money on models. But I kind of want to now because these look cool. And last up, we have A Song of Ice and Fire. This is apparently a model game that I didn't know came out recently. But it did. And from what I've heard, it's pretty good. You get to choose the armies... Targaryen, Greyjoy, Baratheon, Lannister, Night's Watch, which I, oh yeah, they're not, they're one. I thought it was just going to be houses. Free folk, yeah. And House Stark down at the bottom because they definitely lost. 
I'm not acknowledging Bran or the rumors that they might be reshooting the ending to Game of Thrones because they finally acknowledged it was shit. <sighs> I didn't even get invested in that game, and then when I heard how it ended. Yeah. On the upside, somehow they got a really cool game out of this. Let's go Targaryen. Let's see the prizes. Love the art. Oh, wow. Danny looks fierce in this one. Ooh, you get the individual unit boxes. Come on. Ooh, Mother of Dragons. I know what I want. Oh, damn. I like this art. $34.99. Okay. Do we get to see the... Ah, here we go. Can, can I... Can I get a better? Okay, that'll do. Man, mm, you are not helping me, YouTube. Well, this isn't YouTube, but whatever. Can I do the thing? I'm going to do the thing. Minya? Can I? Get, get, are you, are you going to let me, you, you're going to let me do this thing? Yeah, they're not going to let me do this thing. Okay, we're going to watch this entire video. Once thought extinct. Why am I doing? Dragons have returned to the world. Why am I doing that? Ooh, see, get rid of that. I I love this. Look at this. Oh. You know what? Crap baskets. I didn't actually want to get into this game. I thought it looked cool. I knew it came up with some pretty good units right off the bat. I want that. I I really want that. Just to have the dragon models. Those are really cool poses. I I just want them. I wouldn't even play the game. I just want that on my... I just want to paint that. I want to... Get, do they come intact? I don't know. Oh, God. That is... A, mm. I will admit, thirty four ninety nine for four models seems a bit steep. On the other hand, three of those models are freaking dragons. Mm. I know I would use those. In a different game, say it counts as insert something here, sure. Or just maybe when we finally do D and D in person again, because uh, to quote Game Grumps, the Backstreet Boys tour has ended. Uh, my wife really loves Game Grumps. We we've, we've watched a lot of it, a lot of it lately. I I just oh god damn it! I really want these models. Like all the other stuff, take it, leave it. Dragons, man. Really good sculpts, too. I knew they look good because I've actually... I got a friend who's raving about this game. He just got in. Apparently, it's actually reasonably affordable. And Okay. I want to get an idea of how much the normal units are. Let's go uh, Night's Watch. What do they look like, price-wise? Ooh, crossbowmen, heroes, tracking, veterans of the watch. $29.90. Oh, it's a little cheaper. And, okay, so it's basically $10 a month. So about average price. And that's... Reasonably detailed, actually. Yeah. I'm actually okay with that. Let's go with something less... Uh, who would be really rough? Free Folk, probably. Free Folk Attachments. War, ooh, war Mammoths? Oh, we're going to Lord the Rings up out of this shit. How big is the map? Oh, it's only in the video. Ah. So I'm, I'm talking myself into getting this game, aren't I? I'm actually doing that. Savage. Gi There's giants in here? Oh. Oh, that is nice. $34, two models, but... Uh, I, I want to know how big they are. Oh, that is so cool. Let's just go with Spear Wives. $34.99, and you had four of them. And Yeah, sure, not bad. I'm sure you can get a lot of usage out of this in a lot of games. Pretty straightforward. Where's the really followers of the bone? Skin changers. Ooh. And they don't show images of this one. So apparently some have more detail than others. I'm I'm just Oh. Oh, that is properly fucked up. Oh, like they're wearing skulls. Oh, that is. I'm going to be completely honest with this box here right now. You don't need to play the game to want this. You just need to play any form of more game where you have really big rippy guys. Like if you were playing 40k or AOS and you just want corn followers, this, this right here for 34 Okay. Yeah. That they're a little on the expensive side, but at the same time. Oh, hot damn. 
that that is nice that is really nice detail so yeah definitely some boxes have more detail than others that mm. just going to look at one more How, ah hit my mic masochist mic much and that was just a whole bunch of other miniature games you can get into as you can tell i am really really tempted to get a lot of them there there's some the dragons, man. I I want them. I want them so much. That is so cool. God damn I, I, My wife is not going to forgive me if I do that. I'm not going to do it. I won't do it because I know it, I, it would... I, 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 I want to do that. God damn, they look so good. Like, there are so many cool things here. Like, getting any of these would be great. And I... I love this. I love how there's so many great sculpts. They're all roughly the same price. There's a few that are cheaper on the individual models when you buy them that way. And if you just want to paint something, that's great. Go as you want. If you want to actually play it, it all kind of works out to roughly the same level. You're going to be looking at between 60, anywhere from 30 for a single unit in Age of, I was going to say Age of Ice and Fire. Wow. Song of Ice and Fire. And you can go all the way up to the crazy... Prices Raging Hero has for the entire buy the army flat out price, which I wouldn't recommend because you know you're going to lose pieces. You're just going to step on something and have no idea what it is and it'll just ignore it. And it's like, oh yeah, that was the one piece I needed to finish all of everything. It's, don't do that. But there's so many good things here. You know, there's so many great models to play. And if you want to play them in a different game and just say it counts as, do it. If you want to get into another game, do it. I've even looked at Battletech. I have no idea where to get the models. And from what I know, a lot of people just print their own. And that's completely fine, apparently. Because Battletech's been around long enough where they really don't give a damn. I don't even know it's officially licensed by anyone. Because it's been around so long, it might be outside of that. I don't know. I do know it has big stompy mechs. But that just is cool. But on the other hand, Game of Ice and Fire had dragons. I'm stuck on it because it looks amazing. I'm I'm not winning this battle against not buying these. I, no, I need willpower. I need willpower. I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm going to have to buy these shit. You know, I better should just uh, cut this one here before I talk myself into buying more plastic crack. Yeah, my wallet is screwed. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see me go really into detail on some of the individual factions in here or some of the individual model ranges, let me know because I kind of really like doing this. I like seeing what kind of stuff we can get into here. And I like seeing how many crazy different model games there are. If you know some that I missed, let me know because I like doing this. I like seeing what's out there. And I'm going to pretend that I'm definitely not going to get some of these and... Um, yeah, we're, we're just going to pretend that's exactly what happens. I'm going to have that willpower. Uh, if if the next video involves a bunch of new models behind me, please don't say anything in case my wife notices. Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble. I realize that. Yeah. It's all the same. If there's anything I missed, let me know. If there's specific models you want me to check out, let me know. And if you guys want to see more like this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.